This video is about how to make the most out of the user interface of puzzle-skyscrapers.com. Part 1. General Overview The playing field consists of three main areas. The control buttons. From here you can control the zoom of the puzzle, the game settings, and you can undo or redo moves. The game timer is also located in this area. The action buttons. From here you can submit the puzzle solution for verification. Reset the puzzle. Print a copy. Share your progress. Or load a new puzzle. The puzzle area. This is the actual playing field where you will enjoy solving puzzles. Part 2. Control buttons. Adjusting the size of the puzzle is an important aspect of the game. Finding the perfect zoom level will help you focus easier. You can use the zoom button to show and hide the zoom slider. Sliding it to the right will enlarge the puzzle, sliding it to the left will make it smaller. You can reset the zoom level to its default position by clicking the 100% button. If you happen to zoom in too much or the puzzle is too big a scroll bar will appear on the bottom. The second button shows and hides the settings. I'll tell you everything about the settings in part 5. In this area you can also see the puzzle timer. You can compete with other players or with yourself if you are that type of a player. When you start playing a puzzle your progress is automatically saved on your device. This is in case you accidentally close the browser, the power goes off or you navigate away. Quite useful for larger daily, weekly and monthly puzzles as well. Have in mind that the timer keeps running so you may see ridiculous numbers if you come back after a day or two. If this bothers you you can simply start a new puzzle or hide the timer altogether from the settings. If you make a mistake or take a wrong path, then the undo and redo buttons are here to help. You can also use the standard keyboard shortcuts, Ctrl plus Z and Ctrl plus Y. Have in mind that if you reload the page or submit your solution for verification you will lose the ability to undo your moves. Part 3. Action Buttons once you are ready with solving the puzzle you can press the done button to verify your solution. You can also press the enter key on your keyboard to submit it. If you got it right, then the timer will stop and you will be offered a chance to submit your score to the Hall of Fame. If you messed it up completely, you can press the start over button, which will clear all the moves, letting you start from scratch. If you are more of a pen and paper type of a player, you can print the current puzzle using the print button. This will show you a printer-friendly preview. If you want to print a bigger puzzle and it doesn't fit the sheet you can zoom it out until it does. You can also use the Ctrl plus P keyboard shortcut. If you want to print more than one puzzle you can check out the mass print section in the main menu, where you can print multiple puzzles on the same page. If you are stuck, but you know someone who can help you, then you can use the Ask a Friend button. It will show you options to share your current progress to Facebook or Twitter. You will also be able to use the Permalink to send your progress to someone in an email, instant messenger or any other way. If you want, you can also use the link to the screenshot of your current state. If you want to load a new challenge you can use the New Puzzle button. Part 4 Puzzle area. Enough with the boring stuff. This is the fun area where you will actually solve the puzzles. I will show you how to play with the default settings. Click a cell to make it active. Use your keyboard to type a number in the cell. To remove a number you can either type it again, type 0 or press the rubber button on the top of the puzzle. You can switch on and off the pencil marks mode by clicking this button. When it is on, you can enter possible candidates for the cell. Part 5. Settings. Let's see what goodies we have here. At the top of the settings section you can see a toolbar with some buttons, which you can use to clear a cell or to switch on and off the pencil mode. For quick access to these buttons the toolbar is pinned on the screen with this checkbox. The next setting is, hide the timer. Some players are not competitive and the timer just makes them feel uncomfortable. Hide it so you can relax while solving the puzzle. 
The next setting is Night Mode. If you are playing in the dark and the black on white is too bright for you, this setting will change the colors to relieve your eyes. A good night sleep is always recommended though. Highlight condition errors will mark in red any clues which are violated when a row or a column is completed. Highlight duplicates will mark in red any numbers repeating on a row or a column. Highlight wrong notes will mark in red any pencil notes, which are duplicate to a number already placed on the same row or column. Highlight current row and column will make the current row and column green. Highlight same numbers will look at the current cell, and if there is a number in it, it will highlight all such numbers on the grid. Auto remove notes. This setting will automatically remove notes from the current row and column when a number is placed. Show number buttons. This setting will help you if you don't have a keyboard. It will show you the numbers from 1 to 9 on the side of the puzzle. Select number first will let you first select a number from the buttons, and then place it in any cell you click. If you are left-handed or you just prefer it that way you can use this checkbox to move the buttons on the other side. Part 6. Playing with your keyboard. If you are not a mouse person, or the constant clicking annoys you, or your coworkers, you can use your keyboard to play. First click inside the puzzle just to make sure it has the focus. Then you can navigate through the puzzle using your arrow keys. You should see a blue outline on the cell that is currently focused. You can also move around using the numpad or the A, S, D and W keys. Press a number key to enter it into a cell. Press the space key to switch on and off the pencil notes mode. Press the Dell or the backspace button to clear a cell. Use Ctrl plus Z to undo a move, and Ctrl plus Y to redo it. Part 7. Playing on a mobile device. I am going to load the site on iPhone SE, which has a pretty small screen. Obviously the bigger the screen the better. Let's see how to adjust the zoom of the puzzle. On mobile devices you have two options for zooming. First you have the zoom button and the slider. And second you can pinch with two fingers to zoom in and out the entire page. If the puzzle is too large for the screen you can scroll it left and right to reach any part of the puzzle. Another approach is to zoom out the puzzle until it fits the screen. Then you can zoom in the entire page until the puzzle is big enough. This approach also allows you to scroll diagonally. Tap a cell to make it active. Tap a number to enter it in the cell. Tap the pencil button to switch on and off the pencil notes mode. Tap the rubber button to clear a cell. You can now solve puzzles like a pro.